Welcome to Artma and today we are learning the eyedropper tool in Photoshop and this is part 1. The eyedropper tool is located here and its shortcut is I. With the eyedropper tool you can select any color and then use it. Let's say you want to select the color of this blue ball. You simply click on it and then if I use the brush tool I can draw a blue line with it. Likewise, if you want to select the color of this pink ball, you simply click on it with the eyedropper tool and then by using the brush tool, I can draw a pink line. If you left click and select any color with the eyedropper tool, it's gonna load up the foreground color. But if you hold ALT and then left click on any color, it's gonna load the background color. If you hold SHIFT ALT and then right click, you can select any color from the color picker. You can also select colors from outside the artboard. So if I click here, it loads the color in the foreground. If you click anywhere, keep holding and move the eyedropper anywhere on the workspace, it's gonna select the color of the workspace. You can also select colors outside of Photoshop. I have Photoshop and Google Chrome open side by side, you could have any other application or even the desktop. And like before, you have to click, hold and move it across over to the Google Chrome application and you can immediately see the foreground color changes to white as I hover the eyedropper tool on the white section of the browser. It picks the green color when I'm on the green, it picks the skin color when I'm on the skin and it picks the blue color when I'm on the blue region. But once you let go of the mouse, you lose the eyedropper tool. You can hit caps lock on your keyboard if you want to have a precise and clear look on the point where you are clicking. This will turn the cursor into a crosshair so you know which pixel you're clicking on. If you leave show sample ring on, it's gonna show a ring every time you click on a color. The ring shows two types of color. The top color is the color that you have currently selected and the bottom color is the color which you have previously selected. So if I click on the blue ball, the ring will show the current blue color on the top and the previous yellow color at the bottom. And if I select the pink ball, the ring is gonna show the current pink color at the top and the previous blue color at the bottom. Let's suppose this image is a very busy image, the colors are all mixed up. You want to match the color of this blue ball in some other part of the image. To do that, you click on the blue ball. You can then click and hold on any part of the image and then move across the image until the current top color matches with the previous blue color at the bottom. If you uncheck show sampling ring, it's not gonna show any ring when you click on any color and this is all I have for the first part of the eyedropper tool in Photoshop make sure to check the second part of this tutorial I'll see you next time bye